We must see those gifts delivered to the Khan at Sarai. That would put us in further good terms with the Mongols. That would be a vulgar village. What remains of it anyhow? You must be one of those conquered Russian princess Batukhan is expecting at Sarai. But you don't look defeated enough to me. I am Alexander Yaroslavich of Novgorod, and whoever you might be, know that I will make my way to Sarai, be it around or over you. I am Sartak, son of Batukhan, and I have heard about you Alexander Nevsky, like they call you. They say you are a great warrior, and a wiser man. We will meet again soon. I wonder. The Khan will probably entitle all of Vladimir to my brother Andre. But if I manage to impress Sartak and work with him, I might just be able to wrench something out from him. Bandits! Protect the pack animals! You're lucky I wasn't too far ahead, Alexander. I thought those Volga Bulgars dealt with to the last man, but it looks like they are still around after all. My men and I will escort you to the next fort. From there on, Sarai won't be too far away. Quick, get inside, there's smoke on the horizon. You and your men can use this caravan fort to resupply. The road north will lead us to Sarai. We can stockpile the resources from these ox carts at the market of the fort. Alexander. You and I have a lot in common. One day, we will hopefully both lead our own people, and could achieve great things together. But beware of my uncle Burka, his Muslim guests have been poisoning his mouth.
You've come bearing gifts. If we manage to capture this ferry, we could use it to cross the Volgar. To hassle my uncle Burka, you can use these riders. He won't know that they belong to me, and they could plunder some gold for you as well. You don't have what it takes to be Khan, nephew. Even Batu will acknowledge it. Prikazanya. Da, ataka! Alexander. We Nestorians have worked our ways on the Mongols over time, and some of them adopted our faith. If you bring us relics, we could wield their power to further increase your own influence amongst them. Duh.
Это ваша мастер Ялана. Понятно. А сделаю. Понятно. Да, господин. А сделаю. Понятно. Да, господин. А сделаю. Понятно. А сделаю. Ваша да, услуга. А сделаю. Понятно. Понятно. Да. Во имя Господь сейчас собираюсь. Вашим ослугам.
вашим услугам. Атака! Приказание. Ас собираюсь. Вашим услугам. This is truly the end of the Volga Volgas. I will make sure the Khan hears of it. Слугам. Приказания. К вашим услугам. Да, 
Понятно. Да. Да. Приказание. А сделаю. Да. Да, господин. А сделаю. К вашим Ас услугам. Собираюсь. Ас собираюсь. Тотчас сделаю. Да. Во имя Господня. Да. Понятно. Я собираюсь. Вашему слугу понятно. Да. Ваша 
Казанья? Да, господин. Prince Alexander Yaroslavich from Novgorod. Your brother Andrei has brought much gold with him. I don't have made my mind just yet. But soon, we will find out who of you two receives all of Vladimir and who gets nothing. <laughs> Alexander, I need more horses to equip and expand my own retinue of warriors, but not just any horses. I need proper Mongol horses. Bring them to this enclosure. If you want to hassle my uncle Burka, you can use these riders. He won't know that they belong to me and they could plunder some gold for you as well. If I had been Subatai, I would have raised your city to the ground, tribute or not. I don't trust you Christians one bit. Alexander, the Khan is much impressed by your actions, and trusts my advice more than my uncles. Meet me at the shrine to the north. Now, our destinies are tied together. We will rise together, or together we will fall. I wish to make you my blood brother before Tengri and your own god. By all means, I accept this great honor, my friend. By the blood of this stallion, we are now anda to each other. Brothers in blood, Alexander, my men are about to release a lion for a great hunt. I would like you to join me on this occasion. Board this ship on the Volga to travel to the hunting camp. I have reached my decision regarding who shall govern the Rus in my stead. Everybody hear me out. 